Good morning, Maggie. Hi, doggy. Hi, sweetie. Well, good morning and a welcome to a day in the life. It is my first weekend officially as a stay-at-home mom. I am done teaching and no longer doing this e-learning. I resigned, if you didn't know, a couple months back. So, oh goodness, this is a new life for me and I'm so excited for this new adventure. But it is a beautiful weekend day. So excited for the sunshine. It's been rainy and gloomy for the whole entire week and it's supposed to be almost 80 today. So I am standing outside. I got a little, um, uh, the sprinklers go in. Got two loads of laundry already done. We already ate breakfast, it's 10 o'clock already. So, so it's been a really wonderful morning and I am making a second pot of coffee as when Blaze is home or um, upstairs more. He works from home, but when he's with me more, he drinks more coffee. So I need to make another pot of coffee. I gotta prep the house a little bit. We are having company over tomorrow. Our state in South Dakota here is opening up quite a bit more. They did actually a couple weeks ago, so we can even have gatherings. Um, so, I mean, it's just two people and their little toddler, so I'm not too worried about it. And it's not like we've been all over the place. I'm excited to have friends over. It's been like three months since people have walked into our house as company. So <sighs> it's nice to have things opening up. I'm looking forward to that. But anyways, I hope you enjoy coming along with me today with what the day brings. I'm going to make a rhubarb dessert. I made a rhubarb jam yesterday from the recipes off of Elliot Homestead. So I should show you that. It tastes delicious. It's a low sugar, so it uses honey, um, rhubarb, ginger, cinnamon. Mm, it's so good. I tasted it. So did that yesterday, and then I have extra rhubarb I want to use to make a dessert of some sort. Well, here is my rhubarb jam I made yesterday. Um, it's a hot pack is what it's called and these four have sealed so far. I haven't flipped these over yet I'm quite sure they sealed like if it doesn't move They're sealed and then I had Oh, I thought that one was moving It wouldn't be a big deal because all I have to do then is rewarm up the jam if it didn't seal I'm not sure like if it will fall Down because now there's all that space in there it's been 24 hours. So I made it yesterday morning I borrowed the rhubarb, not borrowed, went and got rhubarb from a neighbor. So I don't grow it myself. I'd love to, but I don't. But neighbors are so gracious around here. So I think that will be delicious. Maybe we'll share some with some friends tomorrow when they come over. But doesn't that just look... Mm, it looks so good. I just got to get it to fall to the bottom now. <laughs> just had a lady stop and drop off their farm fresh eggs. It's so nice. She only charges a dollar per dozen, so I forgot she was coming this morning, but I need eggs to make a dessert, so I'm glad she showed up before I started that. And I think I actually need to oil our countertops here real quick because it's been a month already, so I need to put some butcher block oil on here. So I think I'm gonna do that first and then do a dessert. If you haven't watched one of my day in life videos where I am talking about our countertops or maintaining the countertops, I do this once a month and I just use Howard's Butcher Block um, oil. I'll put an Amazon affiliate link in the description box, but we do not have a sealant on our Butcher Block countertops, so that is part of why I do have to continue to oil it. It's not a lot of work, just means clearing up the countertop and doing this uh, once a month. So 
I'm on my second load of laundry to dry and I add some Young Living Purification Essential Oil to my wool dryer balls. I'll put the dryer balls in affiliate Amazon link in the description box again because I love them using them and I love using essential oils throughout my house in my daily use. But the other setup, is, they are not stackable washer and dryers but that's how the previous owners had them. That's how we left them so far. They're, the washer dryer in our back porch we don't love this we're hopefully going to change how that setup is but for now i'm just gonna deal with it i think i found a rhubarb recipe it's called moist and delicious grandma's rhubarb cake i will see how it turns out i'll probably cut it in half because i don't think we need that much it makes a nine by 13 so We'll see if I can cut it in half. Oh, and I don't have sour cream, but I can probably substitute Greek yogurt for that. I will see how this works. My husband was really thoughtful. He had to go to the hardware store and our ladies who started a little coffee stand at our church were at the hardware store with their stand and he got me some coffee. That was so nice of him to come home with it. I wondered what was taking him so long, but he had to go get a few things and now he's back. He got himself coffee, myself coffee. Little one's awake from a nap, and so the day's gonna continue. Gonna sip my um, coffee that he got me. Oh, and so my other pot of coffee will have to wait till tomorrow probably. I'll just stick it in the fridge or make it iced coffee then or something. We'll see. Well, the cake turned out all right. I did substitute Greek yogurt. It turned out decently using that instead of a sour cream. I sometimes try to make a dessert more healthy and I realize that doesn't actually work. This time I did substitute stevia for sugar, but stevia has such a unique taste. And with the crumble top that I made, it just did not taste as good. So then I ended up making a cream cheese frosting to kind of mask that stevia taste. So real sugar is sometimes the way to go for things if you want the accurate taste. All right, well, here's the rhubarb cake. Oop, that's a hot still. I just pulled it out. It looks okay. It just has a little crumble on top with some cinnamon. And Nevea is finishing up some lunch. We had some leftover sourdough pizza. Are you all done? Good job. Okay, I'll get you out. So then we're gonna go out for a walk. My Vitacost order came. I'm so excited. I love using liquid aminos instead of soy sauce. It's all natural, way less sodium. So 350 milligrams in one teaspoon. I don't know what soy sauce has. I just have always done this. And um, I'll use it in a steak marinade I need for tomorrow. And then I like this method, squirt and up. So I just ordered it from Vitacost. And this is the, for hard floors, lemon ginger scent. <laughs> And then I got just some folic acid. Oh yeah, she wants to play with that. And then in here, oh, I think, let me see. I'm pretty sure I got, I'll just check my order. <laughs> I got some Ginger People Organic Sushi Ginger. I, oh yep, Sushi Ginger. It looks delicious. Yeah, it's really pretty good for you. So, ah, uh, that should be really good. I'm excited, actually. I might just have to eat some throughout the day. It's good for, ginger is good for your gut, too. So, yay, that'll be fun. Well, my new cushion for this $15 chair came. I ordered it from Walmart. I did a patio video. Oh, it went up about a week ago. So, we'll see if it fits. It's not the same company, so. I hope it should fit. It still looks like it should, but I went with the red. So I'll put that on and see how it goes.
thought I'd take a little time while Neve was down for a nap to water some of the flowers. I actually have some kale and cucumbers in there. And then the fenced off area, you've probably noticed, is new grass. So we need to seed it again. And then I decided to plant another little garden that you see there. It has some vegetables in it and some herbs and flowers as well. I'm hoping that will fill in real nicely in the next few years and I just think it's going to look so beautiful over there by our garage. And then I just watered some of the flowers on our patio and just enjoying the outdoors because like I said it was a beautiful day and I wanted to take in all the time outside that I could get. I also hope you're enjoying some time seeing Maggie in this vlog. She's been in it quite a bit, but she loves being around people and she's a wonderful, loving dog. I had to vacuum out the sill of the patio doors because Nevaeh was crawling back and forth and it was so gross. So I just had to get a little bit of that nitty gritty clean. I was looking through Nevaeh's closet and I forgot that I found the or had these dresses from a garage sale a couple years ago. Um, it's kind of got a cinched waist, little belt loop. It is sheer, completely sheer. I still have my shorts on and tank top on underneath, which I would have to do if I decided to wear this, but it might be kind of fun to wear around the house. It's blue with some white on it. Yeah, just kind of fun. Forgot that I had it. I found this one too. I don't like it near as much. This one is definitely a vintage one and it has a hole. Not a pocket, a hole right there. So I'd have to fix it. I don't know why this string is here. It's not very attractive, but it's kind of fun little sleeves. Definitely a vintage dress that I forgot I had and I'd used it. Oh, there's another hole. Maybe they're meant to be there. So, I don't know, I like the length. Maybe I'll do something with them. Wear them around the house, like I said. Um, yeah, a vintage dress, a vintage fun find dress. Well, supper was cleaned up. Nevea was bathed and put down for bed, and so it was time to relax. My husband was working on um, some church things that he needed to do, and I decided to read for a little while. The book is Hope Unfolding. It is so good. I will put it in the description box if you are interested. It's great for mamas. And so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. It was just kind of hodgepodge, but I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And I'd love to have you continue following us in um, our lives and join my YouTube community. So hit that subscribe button. And I will talk with you in my next video. Love you guys.